all of these decent reboots, there are also some bad reboots. Inspector Gadget, for being way too cartoony, bouncy, and silly. For being way too cartoony, bouncy, and silly. Way too cartoony, bouncy, and silly. Bouncy and silly. Hi there, Elephant TV here. Since people were really responsive to my opinions on CGI Brum, and the poll is complete, it's time that I talk about another reboot. There had been a lot of change when it comes to loads of bad or meh reboots in recent years, and I'm usually one of those people that despise changes. There had been some bad and meh reboots, like CGI Brum, the Bob the Builder reboot, as well as many others. But sometimes change can be a good thing, and there are some pretty amazing reboots, like DuckTales and Naughty Toyland Detective, and today in this video, I'm going to be defending the Inspector Gadget reboot from 2015. Now, before you spam your complaints in the comments sections, let's start at the beginning of the franchise. Inspector Gadget is about a robot human supercop solving cases with the help of his niece Penny and her dog Brain, and their adventures to stop the unseen but menacing arch nemesis Dr. Claw. I loved this show, yet I never saw it as a kid. It was adventurous, charming, cartoony, bouncy, and very silly and funny. It went on for two seasons and a few specials in between. Afterwards, in 1999, Walt Disney Pictures had made a live-action movie based on this series, with Matthew Broderick as Gadget. What was that you said about him, Doug Walker? Oh yeah, you said Matthew Broderick is a bad actor. Watch these two movies and see, and tell me you still think he's a bad actor. Anyways, after those movies and the series ended in 1986, in 2015, DHX Media, now named Wild Brain and Netflix, had brought the show back in CGI. Like I said in the video, I'll be defending the Inspector Gadget reboot. Why? Because this reboot actually feels like a good reboot to the show. Ivan Sherry does a really good performance as Gadget. In fact, the rest of the cast did a rather amazing job as their specific characters. The humor is so damn good and never feels like it's being forced. Oh, which leads me to my next point. James A. Williams, who mentioned it as a bad reboot, stating that this reboot is bad for being oh way too cartoony, bouncy, and silly. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Of course the original wasn't silly or cartoony. No, 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 no. The original was dark and serious and had loads of car chases. Yeah, because if there's anything this reboot was missing, it was more car chases. My point is, Inspector Gadget is supposed to be cartoony, bouncy, and silly. Now, back where I left off. If there's two things I'm not into about this reboot, is one, the animation and designs are slightly off, and doesn't really suit the show. Why can't they just use flash animation like MLP Generation 4, or the Magic School Bus Rides again? And another thing I don't like about this reboot is the fact that they changed the theme song for no reason. Why couldn't they have remixed the original the same way the live action ones did? But nope, because you couldn't get the rights, you just changed it. That is unless you are watching the French dub of the show. Overall, this reboot is really decent, and while it isn't perfect, it still gives you a good laugh it can also show that change can be a good thing, because you need to give certain things that are announced a chance and watch some of the content for a while. That way, you can have a full opinion, rather than just the original was better. Otherwise, you might just miss out on something really great. Now with that done, this is a reboot worth watching. This is Elephant TV, signing out.